Hi everybody. After coming to know her efforts to reha rehabilitate the environment, for which she won that Nobel Peace Prize. Of course, not to win the Nobel um, Peace Prize, she did all those things. If the environment is not uh, rehabilitated, that a degraded environment, if it is not rehabilitated, what could be the result? Because we are not the last generation to live on this planet. What could be the result? Let us see through this uh, B reading, a poem. Or will the dreamer wake? Who is the dreamer? The modern man? The man who is polluting the environment, degrading the environment? Will he wake? Out in the east, the jungle listens. The tigress plaintive grows in pain. The east means beautifully the poet has covered all the directions east, west, north, south and the center also. In one direction, a tigress being pregnant with its cubs, it is growling with the pain. The great trees hear her breathing. The forest is hearing its breathing. That pregnant tigress breathing shaking inside her still the new lives wait shaking inside her still who is shaking those cubs in her home they are shaking still and at the same time they are still also the new lives wait those cubs are to be born okay they are waiting for their solemn birth these cubs could be the last ones ever if the dreamer doesn't wake up, these cubs could be the last cubs okay, uh, that would ever freely live and roam and mate. Okay. These cubs could be the last uh, tigers or the tigress who would live and roam and mate. Okay. Try to uh, have their progeny. Our grandchild knows the tiger never or will the dreamer wake. If environment is not okay, so rehabilitated, thereby bringing favorable conditions to these uh, uh, tigers, the grandchild would know what a tiger is. Otherwise, if the modern man doesn't wake up to take care of the environment, no doubt our grandchild would never know what a tiger is. So, sarcastically, the poet asks, Okay, whether he would allow it to be or uh, would he wake up. The second stanza. Far in the north, the white bear snuffles. In the other direction, okay, in that uh, cold atmosphere, the polar bear uh, snuffles. There, earlier, the tigress growls. Now here, the polar bear snuffles, breathing heavily because it too is uh, pregnant with its uh, babies. Down in her lair, the gleaming snow. She waits for all the life she is making. What the life she is making? That is nothing but her babies, her cubs. Outside the crashing glaciers grow. Outside, okay, the glaciers, uh, they are crashing and the crash is growing. Means uh, with an increased rate, the glaciers are uh, crashing and melting into water. Um, <coughs> slowly, slowly minimizing the habitat of those polar bears. So, this polar bear which is pregnant with its babies, these babies could be the last babies who would uh, wander freely and mate or our grandchild or next generation would never know what a polar bear is. Would it be so or will the modern man wake up okay, in order not to happen that? Outside the crashing glaciers grow. These cubs could be the last cubs ever to freely live and roam and mate. Our grandchild knows the white bear never. Otherwise, okay, if things are not uh, taken to the positive side, our grandchild does mean that our future generations would never know what a polar bear is or will the dreamer wake. The third stanza, other direction. There in the west, the song thrush warbles. She weaves her nest to hold her clutch. Another direction, a bird 
ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஓகே ஏ வாட் இ கால் ஓகே லேண்ட் ஆனிமல் தட் இஸ் டைகர் அண்ட் அந்த செக் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஓகே திஸ் வாட்டர் ஆர் பர்டிகுலர் கோல்ட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் தட் பாலர் பேர் நவ் ஏ பேர்டு ஏ சாங் ஃப்ரெஷ் வாபல்ஸ் ஷீ வீவ்ஸ் ஹேர் நெஸ்ட் டு ஹோல்ட் ஹேர் கிளச் ஓகே ஷீ இஸ் மேக்கிங் ஹேர் நெஸ்ட் ஸோ தட் ஷீ குட் ஸ்டார்ட் ஹேர் ஃபேமிலி ஃபார் ஹேர் கிளச் ஆஃப் ஹெக்ஸ் ஷீ இஸ் இன் அட்வான்ஸ் ஓகே அன்லைக் ஹியூமன் பீங்ஸ் மேக்கிங் ஹேர் நெஸ்ட் ஓகே ஏ லாங் வெயிட் நவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் ஏ பார்ட்னர் ஹேவிங் ஓவர் இட்ஸ் நெஸ்ட் நவ் த song crush that bird is waiting for its partner so that they could start a family and she would expect a good number of eggs the eggs are laid of course okay she found a partner okay uh, with much difficulty and she laid eggs there are not much but the eggs are not many in number the way those eggs earlier had been many in number but that number is now drastically reduced these chicks could be the last ones ever these bird baby that is chicks could be the last chicks uh, ever the last to fly and sing and a mate the last to fly the last to sing and the last to mate that is to uh, improve their progeny for their next generation and all this could be the last chicks there they could be the last bears earlier there they could be the last tigers in all these cases no doubt the result is our future generations symbolically grandchild here it is represented by would never know what a tiger is what a polar bear is what a song crush bubble is our grandchild knows the song crush never or will the dreamer wake or will the dreamer wake up now another direction south deep in ocean south the whale swims her song of birthing fills the seas the seas a <coughs> large animal okay on the planet that is a whale it is uh, pregnant with its baby and while giving that birth to that baby it is singing that birthing song that filled the seas thousands of creatures okay wait the moment thousands of uh, uh, creatures in that uh, uh, ocean sea they are waiting for the moment what the moment the birthing of that baby well the solemn birth that they will say okay the solemn birth that these creatures will see they are waiting anxiously for that uh, solemn birth moment having heard that birthing song that song of that well this child could sing the final well song just like those chicks those cubs this baby well Uh, could be the last whale to sing a birthing song the last to make the oceans shake okay when we see these heavy uh, animals okay so jump up into the um, jump up from the water into the air and again uh, fall so freely enjoying their independence and freedom back onto the water how large the flashes they would create and all such a shaking nature of that uh, uh, whales would never be seen in future maybe this uh, baby whale could be the last whale to shake the ocean to create such a uh, large flashes of water our grandchild never hears its a mystery our grandchild would never hear uh, its a mystery if the dreamer doesn't wake up in the last stanza here in the center here in the center four directions gather of course all these four directions okay gather okay is it safe no it is also not safe there the modern man is okay so thinking that uh, he is developing and uh, so growth is taking place okay in the name of development so um, whatever he is doing he is doing at the center that modern man now he is drowning and um, out of desperation okay. so as he is drowning slowly 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 and he lifted his hands up so that those fingers could be seen okay by a passer by so that uh, sensing the danger somebody would lift him up what this condition symbolically represent it represents the uh, present environmental uh, degraded condition okay if he doesn't wake up now forever those uh, fingers um, would be invisible and uh, no more the uh, planet uh, be having this uh, species not only those endangered and extinct species it may 
cause much uh, beyond imagination damage to this uh, so called clever uh, species that is uh, human beings. Here in the center four directions gather the path ahead leads up or down. Now is the time to decide whether to go up or down. What does it mean? Up means the dreamer wakes up, the modern wakes up, modern man wakes up and realizes that uh, what the damage he has been causing to the environment and uh, slowly slowly uh, he would first of all stop there and after that uh, slowly uh, would start uh, rehabilitating whatever he degraded that is the moment uh, upwards if not that is going down there is no question of uh, uh, staying afloat <laughs> the path ahead leads up or down is this our last bright new world birthing maybe this is the very dark uh, period maybe this is the um, this dark period is the period where a new life okay birthing would take place just like okay a baby before coming out through that birth canal okay pitch darkness how the baby would experience for 9 months okay in that uh, home just before uh, um, being delivered coming through the through that uh, birth canal okay what the darkness the baby would feel maybe such darkness the humanity okay here it is uh, uh, experiencing maybe the way okay the baby who has been experiencing that uh, darkness uh, would see the light of the day this humanity also may see the light of the day and it would give a new birthing for our civilization the poet is uh, optimistic naturally these writers and poets and all writers okay so they are very optimistic though they paint okay so all the Uh, picture we feel that negative but that is the reality but uh, no doubt uh, so they are very optimistic okay maybe uh, this darkness uh, okay represents okay the darkness okay um, baby in home experience okay before seeing the light of the day in that way there the baby here yeah new civil civilization may but okay so before that but maybe this uh, darkness the humanity is experiencing right now what is going on around us also uh, gives us a feeling that uh, so maybe so right now we are uh, hmm, uh, troubled and uh, uh, desperate and uh, anxious and even worried about our uh, okay so even <laughs> existence itself but uh, somewhere at the back of mind okay so we hope that uh, no doubt uh, today it is but tomorrow it will be what it ought to be it will be all right tomorrow so with that hope only uh, we are um, passing the days <coughs> is this our waving as we drown okay is this waving okay so as we drown this could be our last true moment this could be our last true moment if we wake up now okay fine if not okay maybe not endangered species but species would be extinct including knowing the truth our choices to make knowing this truth we have to make our choices okay what our choices is okay so continue uh, with this uh, degradation of the environment that is one choice and stop it and start rehabilitate the environment that is uh, other choice among these many species human being is one species that's all for nature as far as nature is concerned okay we are one of the species no more no less our grandchild asks that was the moment and did the dreamer wake that time our future generations would no doubt would ask okay knowing the damage and the danger so they were in okay so did the modern man uh, wake up that time our grandchild our future generations uh, would ask okay certainly as they say we have not inherited this planet from our ancestors but uh, in fact we have borrowed this beautiful planet from our children they say so certainly we are answerable to those uh, future generation that is children our children okay whether we uh, have taken enough care so that in a good condition the way it has been handed over to us the same way whether we hand it yeah, hand it over to them or not if that question is asked okay then certainly we have that uh, moral right moral obligation to say so clearly that uh, yes we have taken uh, that's why now you are okay so such a confident answer we could only give provided if we do what we have to do being environmentally aware thank you thank you so much take care